I just realized how crazy we look. Just, oh, yeah. In the middle of the street. <laughs> this whole process has been crazy and bananas and like totally way more than we signed up for. Um, and I feel like so one unique moment that like I and I had sort of alone is when we got the unit at first. We had sort of like begged this guy to like give us this unit and he had agreed to like let us clean it all out if he could keep the shelves. And it was this whole like crazy like hour of just like trying to make it work, trying to make it work, trying to make it work. And, and I had spent a couple weeks like going to these storage unit auctions and being like, who is involved in this industry and who's, whose units are these and who are the people that buy them and having all these questions about like all of the different characters that are actually just involved in the, the storage unit business. And I had this moment as we were like sealing the deal with this dude where this woman had run up to us and she was like, excuse me, I am looking for somebody who had unit like 339B. And I was like, I, I don't know, we're like here for this crazy art project. And she was like, it's my unit, it's my unit, I need to get to the person who bought it. And I was like, uh, maybe the people indoors talking to the auctioneer know. And she was like, do you remember during the auction seeing a unit, there was a big farmhouse table in it and a bunch of boxes and a green couch. And I was like, yes. I do remember that unit. We bought the unit across the way. I know who got that unit. It's that older couple who I've seen at all of the different auctions. Go talk to them. And she was like, thank you so much. That's my unit. I'm the person who owns it. And she had to like, she realized that she would have to forfeit it. Like she got the notification. So she had to show up at the auction and she didn't get there in time. She like needed cash to pay for her own unit. And she was like, oh my God, I don't have enough cash. So she had to run to the ATM and get it, but they wouldn't like put it on. Diversity, purpose. inclusion, and we're uh, facing a lot of moral and ethical questions in this project, uh, which you'll see on the wall out back by Dana's beautiful display. Please uh, take a couple of minutes, if you will, read through some of those questions. Feel free to respond to them. Um, there are lock boxes back there. You can put your comments on anonymously or talk to us. We want to make sure that we're uh, doing this uh, openly, honestly, and with an eye to uh, honor the individual uh, that has given us this incredible wealth of interest. Uh, so again, thank you so much for coming here and supporting our art. Uh, we have a sign-up list that's over by James. If you're interested in following the project, it's going to take us a while. Uh, we're going to take these objects, we're going to be doing some workshops to devise. Uh, we have some local writers uh, that will be assisting us in this process. So really, you're helping us shape this piece, uh, this neighborhood, these objects, these people. Uh, so please sign up, stay on top of it with us, and tell us what you need from us and what you want to see, because that's going to help make it what it is. Uh, again, thank you so much for coming. Please sign up and stay on top of it with us. We're excited. And also, if any of you know anyone who like would want to be interviewed for a project like this, like has a story about stuff, has a story about storage, or losing your stuff, send them our way. We're happy to talk and gather more stories. Spring yes. 2020. Yes. Spring yes. 2020. Late winter, winter 2020. Winter. 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 Happening in Portland, uh, and sort of the idea of like what are our rights to stuff, to our, our homes and to our things, and who owns what at what point. And, and so for the first part of the sort of like writing devising um, section, and I think you're pretty familiar with devising, you, you posted a lot of work with Tiak with that? Yeah, for sure. Um, so we're gonna have three workshops so like we'll talk about that in a second um, and so they'll be led by a company member um, so JJ um, James and Carol. Enumeration is a collection of objects found in storage unit 5549 
All identifying information has been redacted to protect the privacy of the individual who previously owned the unit, given the alias V. When exploring the items left in the unit, I was curious about the history of public and private life that had been carefully preserved in 10-foot tall stacks. Magazines, newspapers, advertisements, ranging all the way from 1974 to the early 2000s. Through the process of unboxing this unit, questions arise. Did V ever read the materials that they packed away? Were these items saved for a purpose or a project? Is there any common thread between each of these items? The experience that most stood out to me uh, during the process of creating storage so far has been during one of our movement-based devising projects where one of our movers started to use one of the objects that we had found in the storage unit in exactly the same way that someone had in a previous production, something that they weren't even aware of. So people are coming in, seeing these items for the first time and interacting with them in similar ways. Uh, it creates a common language for us to be able to work together to continue to create the project and see where it takes us. bags into a sort of quilt while humming wordlessly singing along to the song. This cumulative action persists for a moment before the song reaches its climax and fade out <laughs> and steps forth into the interstitial space. Both riches and honor and almost metaphysical avoiding any guilt as they're swimming around in my objects, my art, my sculptures, my magazines, my jars of thread, my letters, my bags of glass, my piles, my light. There's river valleys of each pelvic wing guiding the wandering exultant eye through the single unifying mysterious thought of the belly button. <laughs> Adam and Eve did not have navels. It is a sign of our fall from grace that we have such <laughs> There's no need to be bashful here. Me, 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 me. I love that, that, like, and, like, I don't know what we're going to do. You're a director, but, like, the fact that it's, like, blank stage. And this this reads like a letter. Like a that gift. could just be, like, oh, so yeah. things are really clarity, clarity like, the projected on the, the set before yeah. people, like, as people are coming in. It, it hadn't found a piece yet. And it was, mm. like, when we first got to Sydney and we were just kind of like sifting through some stuff, I found one of the, it wasn't the St. Anthony, oh. Anthony Messengers, but it was one of those yeah. like religious pamphlet things mm. talking about sexuality and the human body. Mm. And like I, that, that's what informed a lot of scene alpha fit. But one thing that I, we, we had talked about um, after having done, a, done, done the 12 step thing in Sydney and in, in the other workshops was that like we fucked up. <laughs> like we weren't not everyone was able to always be in rhythm. Mm -hmm. Like, like huh. you, you would get it for a little while and then you'd think about it and you'd fall out of it. We're talking about twelve steps. Mm -hmm. Like what yeah. we do. Okay. Um, How personal is this? And and to is this personal to me or personal to this person that I've never met? And and so I think I've gone back and forth between feeling so confronted with really personal items 
and and feeling this kind of conjuring of of the person who had the unit before we acquired it and then at other times through different activities um, by the way we've interacted with the items taking them to different places repurposing them and really truly playing with them in a way that I haven't felt like I've played in a long time that has like in so many ways really removed the previous owner and then it's much more about a thing and an object um, separated from its history with a human owner and so but now today it's kind of tying back together as like it, I'm reading things I've never read before and um, and so I'm really kind of um, kind of juggling like what what are the personal aspects because it's very personal and is it more about me or us like Bear Portland or this other person and um, there are so many stories here um, nonfiction and fictional roots so I'm really excited to see what directions we continue to go in Take a walk. your shit too, genius. Moon. Seizures. Sex. Play. Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask like a random question? Yeah. Did the cheese get a lot of votes? It did. More than